Okay. Figure shows an object A of mass 200 gram collides head on with object B of mass 100 gram. After the collision, B moves at a speed of 2 meter per second to the left. Determine the velocity of object A after collision. Is the collision elastic or inelastic? Uh, okay, this is a good question. Look, uh, please, uh, we, we need to look for keywords. Yeah? In this question, we need to look for keywords. Here, he say, what type of collision? He say, collide head on. Uh, still remember what you learned about co uh, head on collision? Head on collision is a one dimensional collision. Uh, if none head on, if none head on is two dimension, oblique collision. Okay? Uh, head on, the word head on is one dimension. That means uh, you only have one component. Uh, only one component. If none head on, you have two components. Okay? So here it mentions uh, head on. Okay? Here it mentions head on. Uh, head on collision. That means this one only have one dimension. Uh, only have one components, yeah. Only have one components like this one only involve x component, okay. One dimension collision. This is a one dimension collision. All right, head on head on collision means one dimension uh, collision. Uh, okay, a uh, okay. This one is in gram, so you need to convert to kilogram. So this one is we put this, uh, okay. Uh, we put this as mass 1, A as mass 1, B as mass 2. Yeah, better. So, uh, this is uh, mass 1 is uh, 0 0.2 kilogram. Alright. And then the 100 gram is uh, mass 2, which is uh, 0 0.1 kilogram. Uh, so, uh, uh, change all to SI unit. Okay. Now, B moves at the speed of Ah, 2 meter per second to the left. I uh, see the keywords here. To the left, the direction. So, here, uh, direction, uh, the speed, you need to, uh, the velocity, you need to put negative sign because direction. Direction important for vectors. Okay? And we use positive negative sign to show direction. Okay? So, uh, this is B. B, so this is V2. Uh, this is V2. This is the this is the final final velocity okay uh, because it say after collision you see that after collision so this is the final velocity uh, so we should put uh, what we can put here is um, uh, this is v2 yeah uh, this is v this because ball uh, mass 2 yeah mass 2 which is the mass b uh, so this is final velocity 2 final velocity 2 to the left, to the left means you must put a negative sign. Ah, don't forget the negative sign. Ah, negative two meter per second. Ah, so, so the negative sign, you you must put a negative sign here. Yeah, remember because this one is means to the left. The negative sign means direction. Yeah, to the left. So ah, uh, determine the velocity of a after collision. So. Uh, after collision means the final velocity. What velocity? Velocity object A. Object A is uh, M1. So this is, we want to find V1. Uh, we want to find V1. So, so the question is, what is, uh, what is, uh, sorry, what is V1? Uh, we want to find V1, which is the um, mass, mass 1, or can say the object A. Okay, we want to find this. Yeah, actually, this is the questions. And the uh, second question is: Is the uh, object is the collision elastic or inelastic? Uh, this one I leave it later. Okay, elastic or inelastic collision? We will look at kinetic energy. Uh, but this, but that is later. So now let's solve the first part. Determine the velocity of object A, which is velocity one. Uh, velocity of mass one. Yeah, after collision. So. Uh, no matter is elastic or inelastic, we know that one thing is always conserved. No matter is elastic or inelastic, one thing, uh, one thing is always conserved. That is total momentum. Uh, total momentum is always conserved. Yeah? Always conserved in no matter is elastic or inelastic. So we use the conservation of momentum. 
uh, for yeah it, uh, so we can say conservation momentum can you can be used for both can be used for elastic and inelastic uh, because we don't know yet what type of collision is this elastic or inelastic so uh, so the formula safe to be used is only the total momentum uh, okay uh, if we want to differentiate between elastic and inelastic we use kinetic energy uh, okay but now we don't know what type of collision elastic or inelastic we just use uh, total momentum okay total momentum is conserved so what's the uh, formula conservation of we use conservation of momentum which is a uh, uh, total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum all right so the formula is m1 u1 okay since this is a one dimension collision one dimension collision so you no need to do uh, no need to do xy component no need to do xy component we just use one uh, component enough uh, which is only the x component so we just put m1 u1 yeah plus m2 u2 uh, there's no you no need to write m1 u1 x and m1 m2 u2 x no need yeah now or m1 u1 y or m2 u2 y that is for two dimension okay right now it's only head-on collision head-on collision means only one dimension collision all right okay so uh m1 and uh, following is a uh, m1 v1 plus uh, m2 v2 okay so let's substitute all the information we have m1 is a uh, 0 0.2 okay so that is a uh, 0 0.2 uh, initial velocity is uh, okay it's given here um yeah we already have the initial velocity this is uh this is uh this is uh, we should we just put this one as uh, ah remember this one is to the left we see that uh direction important going to the right is positive going to the left is negative uh so this one you should put negative uh don't just put six uh if you straight away uh you want you put six here uh then it's wrong then it's wrong okay you should put negative six because it's to the left right so right we all we should put a negative there negative because it's moving to the left negative six okay uh negative ne negative negative six okay now plus uh and then mass two is uh what is mass two mass two is uh, uh 100 gram which is 0 0.1 0 0.1 kilogram and then v2 is uh, uh three uh, three okay three uh three uh because to the right to the right is positive right okay good so now let's move on uh mass one is uh just now is 0 0.2 uh do we have v1 yeah we need to find v1 we don't have v1 so just put as v1 and then plus m2 and what is m2 m2 is uh, 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 and then um, what's the final velocity v2 uh, v2 is negative 2 uh, because it's made say to the left move to the left so don't forget to put a negative sign to the left okay to the left so two so you see uh, the direction very important uh? you need to uh, put the negative sign if to the left Okay, because velocity is a uh, velocity is a vector vector the direction is important yeah direction is important about the positive and negative sign all right understand uh, okay so uh, continue continue so uh, this is negative 2 uh, move to the left yeah uh, this is a uh, mass b yeah move to the left later on yeah so uh, okay uh, we can say uh, the mass b uh, after collide uh, it moved to the left yeah we can say um, the the velo this is velocity b uh, or we can say velocity 2 uh, to the left so it is a negative sign it is uh, equal to negative negative 2 uh, okay it's negative 2 uh, so we don't know the object a what happened to the object a okay object a we don't know uh, what is the what is the velocity velocity uh, a uh, or we can say velocity one we don't know yeah to which direction yeah it moves okay so now let's move on okay so uh, negative two okay let's find out the v1 so what is v1 let's calculate yes i got it is um 
the velocity is uh oh negative oh negative um three point three point five uh sorry again negative three point five uh meter per second okay so this velocity uh is to which direction uh is negative sign you see that here it got it shows negative sign that means um to the left uh, it's going to the you need to say it's going to the left you need to mention the di direction okay you need to give the direction uh, because because uh, the question one to find velocity velo yeah the question wants to find velocity that means velocity is a vector you need to give direction uh, okay uh, so uh, what we can say uh, is uh, yeah this is the answer okay negative 3.5 that's correct uh, so we can say uh, maybe I should uh, yeah just make it more tidy yeah okay so uh, we can say uh, velocity a is not moving to the right is moving to the left uh, so you can say uh, is actually this velocity a is actually moving to the left uh, because we found out the velocity a this is actually velocity a okay this uh, velocity a or velocity one is a negative value negative value means uh, after collision the object a still move to the left okay still move to the left huh? so uh, uh, this is the velocity this is the velocity a uh, or velocity one it is uh, negative also uh, negative uh, negative 3.5 <laughs> okay to the left okay so now uh, we got the answer for um, this velocity now what uh, determine is the collision elastic or inelastic uh, now we want to know is it elastic or inelastic uh, so how to know elastic or inelastic we look at we look at what we look at the kinetic energy to determine whether elastic or inelastic uh, we look at kinetic energy don't say oh don't say um uh, elastic is uh, bound, rebound. Inelastic is stick together. Can, cannot, cannot. Nah? Uh, the stick together only for perfectly inelastic. Some of the inelastic is rebound. Remember that. I did tell you in the previous video. Okay? So, to differentiate between elastic and inelastic, the only thing to differentiate between these two is the kinetic energy. You must check the kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after collision and then compare if it is equal uh, then it's elastic if it is not equal uh, then it is inelastic that's it okay okay so let's check the total kinetic energy which is a half uh, half m1 u1 square this formula all right just use this formula <laughs> okay so now let's check yeah uh, to determine whether collision elastic or inelastic so what we do is we do the first step is we check the initial kinetic energy. Uh, yeah, we check the we first uh, first we check the initial kinetic energy before collision, which is a uh, half m one u one square plus half m two u two square. Uh, so let's check. Yeah, uh, half m one is a. Uh, uh, 0 0.2 yeah just look at here all the information is over here here you can find over here m1 u1 m2 u2 uh, that's the form that's the value just write the corresponding value so m1 is 0 0.2 and then u2 is, uh, u1 is negative 6 never mind because we have square the negative sign will disappear and then uh, ms2 is uh, 0 0.1 and then u2 is 3 Okay, u2 is 3 square. Okay, so let's calculate what's the answer first. Okay, so uh, it is 3.6 plus another one. Okay, another one is uh, 0 0.45. So the answer will be... Um, yep, uh, 4.05 Joule. That's the initial uh, kinetic energy. Now let's check the final kinetic energy and then we compare between initial and final kinetic energy. Okay, final kinetic energy is half m1 v1 square. Now use the final velocity. 
Okay, half m2 v2 square. And then put in all the values. m1 is uh, 0 0.2. And then v1 is um, negative 3.5. Okay, negative 3.5. And then um, mass 2 is uh, 0 0.1. Okay, 0 0.1 and then uh, V2 is uh, negative 2, negative 2 uh, square. Okay, so let's calculate. Okay, so the first one is uh, uh, 1.225. Okay, and plus... Uh, okay, so the next one is uh, 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.2, then... Uh, Total up, we got uh, 1.425. Uh, oh, what can you see here? Uh, the initial, now we compare. Are they equal? Not equal. Uh, we, uh, it seems that uh, the initial kinetic energy not equal uh, to the final kinetic energy. Uh? Uh, or we can also say that the initial kinetic energy is more than uh, the final kinetic energy. Or we can also say that the initial kinetic energy uh, is equal to uh, the final kinetic energy uh, plus energy loss. Plus energy loss. Ah. So there's a loss of, kinetic, loss of kinetic energy into other form of energy. Perhaps uh, this one... It lost in the form of maybe a sound or heat or uh, you know deformation uh, deformation of object so uh, so that's why the initial kinetic energy has more kinetic energy compared to final yeah? because some part during collision during collision some part of the kinetic energy already changed to other form like sound heat deformation and deformation Okay, uh, so uh, they are not equal. So you just write you, uh, and then you must also write like this. Uh, you must also write uh, uh, the four point. Uh, uh, just drag this uh, down here. Um, okay, uh, put it down here. Yeah, just throw this off. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we can say. Uh, the uh, you must also write the value 4.05 joule is not the same as uh, 1.425 joule so this conclusion it is an inelastic collision uh, it is an inelastic collision because the total kinetic energy the total kinetic energy is not is is uh, not conserved during collision. Okay, uh, so it is an inelastic collision. Okay, I so uh, that's it for these questions. Uh. now let's move on to the next one.